What is up guys, Tony here, and today we are doing another montage editing tutorial. Uh, I know I haven't done one in a while, but we're going to start up doing some more. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about something very, very highly requested. Uh, a lot of people come to me asking me why their Final Cut Pro 10 exports are so large. I mean, a simple video like this that's about a minute and 20 seconds um, can end up being a file size of 2 to 10 gigabytes, depending on what your settings are. Uh, let me show you what I've showed you in the past. You go to Export Media under share and then you go to video codec and you either do current settings or you do Apple ProRes 422 high quality uh, H.264 works too but you may have some problems with that I've had some problems in the past with it being sort of pixelated or having a lot of screen tearing uh, well not screen tearing but like a lot of like weird lines uh, so I do recommend going with H22 uh, H22 422 um, high quality or just current settings. I usually go with current settings nine times out of ten because that gives you the most pure quality you'll get out of an exporting program. But that tends to also give you a large file size. Now we have a, an export from Final Cut that I did earlier. It's actually that same export there. And if I go to get info on this export, you'll notice that it is 2.21 gigabytes for a clip that's probably about a minute and 20 seconds. I can't really see from here. Let me see if I can open it up. We'll just open it up real quick. Yeah, 3 minutes 47 seconds, and we have a 2.21 gigabyte file. That's not very comparable. I mean, I, you can usually get a, t a t you know, 3 or 4-minute file for something around 100 megabytes, um, even with really good quality. So I'm going to show you guys how to take this file that you get from Final Cut and turn it into something that's more workable. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open up iMovie. And that's usually the program to go for because uh, it's free. It's easy to use, and uh, that's what you need to go for. Um, and then what you're going to need is go to New Project, and you're going to name it whatever you want to upload it to YouTube. This is where you're going to upload from. You're going to type in, I don't know, Battle Field 3 uh, Montage or something, whatever it is. That's not what this is, but then you're going to hit New Event. You're going to import the clips, call it BF3 or whatever, and then import the video. So find it on your desktop, import it in. And you're going to let that go for a second. It's going to take a bit of time. Okay, so once you have your footage in the event, you drag it into the timeline up here on the project you created. You're going to go to Share Export. And once you're in Export, you're going to do 720p or 1080p. If you're, if you're looking to do 1080p and you have 1080p footage, you can do 1080p. And you're just going to go to the Standard Export. There's no settings. You just pr pretty much click either 720 or 1080. And then you hit Desktop and you hit Export. You name it whatever you want to. And then you're going to let that export. Once your clip's exported, you can minimize that and minimize this and minimize all that. And you will find it on your desktop. Now, here is the new file. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Here it is. It's right here. So the Battlefield 3 montage file is 279 megabytes compared to 2 gigabytes. 2.2 gigabytes. So we're seeing about a 10% decrease in size just by rendering it out in 720p through iMovie. Uh, you get the same result if you do 1080p, you'll probably get somewhere around the, the result of maybe 25% uh, you know, decrease. Um, but overall, it definitely does uh, shrink the file size down to something that's more comparable. Now let me show you another step that may, may make your process a little bit easier. Instead of taking that file and uploading it directly to YouTube, Go to the YouTube on Share. Type in all your, uh, your, you know, your, your what you call it, your tags, your description, your title. Uh, choose your size. Make it not personal, obviously. And then type in your password. You can add multiple accounts on here. These are actually really old accounts I used to use, which I never use anymore. Uh, well, X Savage was at least. And uh, you can go ahead. You can add more accounts. Let me cancel that. And you can remove accounts, which actually is probably something I should do. Oh, I just removed. Oh, shit. I just removed Tony's Gaming, so I'll have to add that back on. Let me see what happens when you do this, actually. There we go. So, yeah, you can go ahead, add all your accounts, type in your password, type in your, you know, category and everything like that. And you can go ahead, and once you do it, I don't really want to type in my password. You can hit Next and then Publish. And, boom, it'll upload to YouTube straight from iMovie. Uh, no need to go to the website or anything. If you have thumbnails or you have monetization, you will need to go to the website, log in, and change the monetization options. But this is definitely a good way. Oh, I can't empty my trash. This is a good way to um, go ahead and upload without having to go through the hassle of exporting first. Uh, basically, exports and uploads, which is a very cool 
feature of iMovie. A lot of people don't know about this, but I use iMovie as my compression software. I use Final Cut as my composition software, and I use After Effects as my effects and uh, sometimes post-production software. So there you go. That's your montage editing tutorial for today. Um, if you guys want to see more of these in the future, go ahead and comment below with what type of videos you would like to see me to do a tutorial on. Any effects that I use in any of my montages or that you've seen in other people's montages that you want me to try to show you how to do on the Mac. Um, so that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.